Okay, so we have our t-shirt here. It's loaded up into Photoshop. Um, so it's got all our Photoshop-y stuff. And we're going to double click. You see the texture is already in here. Now let's test some stuff out. I'm going to create a new layer. Let me look this up. I'm going to create a new layer. And I'm going to close this. Now let's go to paint on our shirt. Let me find my brush is so small <laughs> all right so we have our brush and we go to paint on it and you see it's coming out all jagged and gross and that's not good we need a nice strong texture so what we need to do is go back into just thingy here and we're going to go to our image size canvas size and we're going to put it at what's what was the good number for that i want to say 224 2048, 2048, hit OK. Don't worry, we'll resize this back later. And I'm going to new. I'm going to close this and hit save for yes. Now when we go to paint on it, you see it's nice and smooth. Now it's all up to you. How do you want to decorate it? What do you want to put on your shirt? So I'm going to rotate this. Um, change the view left top <laughs> bottom I love uh, see back uh, front no 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 maybe it's left default Ugh. gotta love Photoshop right all right so I'm gonna manually put this back and we're gonna design stuff on here I'm gonna show you how to put on decals and change the color so the fastest way I know to change the color is to do it through the 2D window. You choose what color you want first. Uh, if you want black, you don't pick black. You pick closest to black, like a few shades up from true black. And then you grab the um, paint bucket, drop it in. So it's kind of gray. Then you hit multiply, and now you have a black shirt. <laughs> then we create another layer. This is going to be our design where we put our decals and all the rest of that junk. You could easily draw it all on the 2D layer and switch it over to the and like look at both of them on the side. But we are not going to do that. What we are going to do, I'm sorry, the quality of mine drops because of the uh, visual thing. If I close Second Life and everything, it should be a lot smoother. But um, yeah, how about for the sake of that I just said, let's make it a little bit lighter. We have a gray shirt. I think this is called like Heather Gray. There we go. That looks better. All right. So we have our shirt and it's colored in. And we want to put text on here. We simply grab the text bar and you write what you want. Blah. <laughs> Blah. <laughs> now it's on here and it's flat. So it doesn't stick yet. What we have to do is select the paintbrush and turn it into. Like, you'll get an error. It should. Oh, for Magog. Now what? There we go. You'll get this error. And say OK. And then you merge it down. Now, when we move it around, you see it's on the shirt. And it's on the, the shirt down here. So... That's how you can do it that way. Now let's see if we can find some decals. I'm going to be right back and go find a, a decorative piece for it. Cool. I found an OKKO OK one with a transparent background. I'm going to uh, save view the image. Oh, I think I lost this transparency. I think it's transparent. Well, let's see. We're going to save it on my desktop. Or maybe we can even drag it and drop it in. Nope. Let's see. So I thought my Photoshop is really acting up today. Nothing I wanted to do is doing it. You have an O on the shirt. All right. Let's see. Do, do, do. Okay. So here. There we go. And we're going to do the same thing, just position it on the shirt where we want it. Okay. Now, I want to make sure it's on its own layer and not on that blah text. I'm going to go back. Alright, I think it's on there, right? Whoops. Okay. 
and that's the decal. I'm going to do the same thing, move it down to the shirt. We're going to try to paint on it, get the error, say OK. And then we flatten it, merge it down. And you see now it's on the shirt. And it's right here. Cool. Cool. Now I need to create a new layer and then multiply. I don't think I have wrinkle brushes on here yet because this is a new computer. If I have, I have fur, but I don't have wrinkles yet. So I would have drawn in some wrinkles, but I'm not that good at that. So now we have our KO texture, our shirt. I'm going to hit save as desktop. And we're just going to put it as a JPEG. Because why not? Put it on my desktop for the sake of desktoping. And because I'm not spending no more money on this, I'm just going to use it as a local texture. They're just as good, just as good. Um, JPEG, t-shirt. And there, you see. Now we have a OK KO shirt on uh, the, which is the decal. So yeah, that's pretty much it. It is a nutshell. How you make clothes, how you do the thing. So that's it for this video. I'm so sorry for how bad it turned out, but hopefully you guys can learn something from this mess. And if it was too bad, then uh, let me know and then I'll try to redo it again with the parts that I started to mess with. Um, hopefully our next tutorial will be a lot better than this one. Hopefully it'll be on a lady body and not on a man's one. Ooh, men. I gotta wash my hands. All this cooties is messing with my brain. <laughs> All right, you guys, this has been Zero, and I hope you guys had a good time, and good luck with your clothes and all that fun jazz. See you on our next tutorial. Bye. Uh, cooties.